Good evening. My name is Jim Pender. Um, I would also like to thank all of you who have come out tonight. Um, you could be doing something much uh, more fun tonight, but I'd like to think this is going to be fun tonight. And you certainly, however, couldn't be doing anything more important than what you're doing tonight. I'd like to introduce uh, my daughter, Rachel, up here in the front table, and our direct care worker, Jolene, who's been putting up with us for almost six years now. And, and Molly, you, you made the comment in your introduction that, that the, the workers become like family. That's actually very true. I, you couldn't have spoken truer words. In fact, the other day, Jolene was asking if, if I'd been to our attorney yet to uh, uh, modify our will, and if, if she was going to be in the will. And I said, well, I said, um, I have an appointment for February 30th. And I'll get uh, right on that. So. But uh, Rachel came to us when she was nine days old as a foster child after suffering a stroke um, due to her uh, birth mother's uh, methamphetamine use. And my wife Michelle and I have adopted several special needs children. Um, but I thought it would be nice for you to have an opportunity to meet Rachel tonight. Now, if I told you that our direct care workers dress Rachel, and feed Rachel, give her her medicine, and that they bathe her, that would be true. Our direct care workers care for Rachel's most basic of human needs. But that's really not the end of the story. That's just the beginning of the story. As you see, the truth is, our direct care workers not only partner with Rachel and our other siblings who have direct care workers but they become a part of our family. Our direct care workers have touched the lives of everyone in our family. I can honestly say that our direct care workers have lifted the burden of caring for a child with special needs. They literally make the impossible possible. Because we have direct care workers, Rachel is able to live at home and have the freedom to be an individual. Rachel gets to experience the love of her family, some days more love than others, I might, must admit. <laughs> Rachel gets to choose the food that she likes to eat, like ice cream, right Rachel? <laughs> Rachel gets to stay up late sometimes. She liked to watch Sean Johnson win the Olympic gold in the Olympics. And Rachel gets to play with her cats, PJ and Jinxie. And Rachel likes to surf the internet, and her favorite website is YouTube, which she uses on her uh, talking device. But I will say, because we have direct care workers, my wife and I can also give Rachel's siblings the time and attention they need and deserve. We have the time to give them, to help them with their homework. So okay, we're the only ones who think they need that kind of attention. We get to go on bike rides with her siblings. And Rachel even has a bike and gets to go on bike rides. Or I was able to take my oldest son on a week-long uh, youth trip to Estes Park, Colorado this summer that I know most certainly wouldn't have been able to do without a direct care provider in our home. And I can tell you that was a life-changing event for both myself and my son. And because we have direct care workers, my wife and I can be a husband and a wife. We certainly could talk about the divorce rate amongst families that don't have children with special needs. And we certainly know that the stress that a, a child with special needs adds uh, greatly to that rate. But I know having a direct care worker makes us much better parents for our entire family. And the reality is, without direct care workers, Rachel would probably have to live in an institution. She wouldn't be able to live in our home. And I'll just kind of close and share with you a story. A number of years ago, after 17 years of remission, I had experienced a recurrence of my Hodgkin's disease. And Rachel was younger, of course, and, and we used direct care workers somewhat infrequently. But in an instant, um, I had gone from going to a doctor's appointment and actually feeling fine to uh, starting six months' worth of chemotherapy. And uh, the hair came back much, much more full after that event. And so 
and not quite as gray. So I would recommend that if you're looking to, you know, spice up your hair, you know, a good regimen of chemo. But anyway, uh, during that time, I really was Rachel's primary caregiver. My wife's a teacher, but I, I was the one who did the majority of the care for Rachel. And I literally, I couldn't lift her. I couldn't change her clothes. I couldn't feed her. I really couldn't do much of anything for her except feel sorry for myself. And Rachel, I could not be a father to my daughter. And I have to say, it was during that time that we um, began to involve direct care workers in a much more significant way in our home. And it's not an understatement to say that without the direct care workers in our home, Rachel would not have probably been able to stay in our home. And so as she's grown older um, and gotten bigger, um, you know, my wife and I just can't sing the praises enough of the quality of life that it gives Rachel and the quality of life it gives our entire family. Thank you.